Okay, we're going to do some addition with decimals. So I have 1.2 plus 3.25. And the way I have the problem set up, it's not very easy to add. And so I'm going to turn the problem around, but when you are adding decimals or subtracting decimals, your decimals need to line up. What I mean by that is they need to be right in line uh, one above the other, okay? So when I do that with this problem, though, I have this big hole here where there doesn't seem to be anything and it looks weird. So I can go ahead and fill that in with a zero and it doesn't matter. And then I go ahead and just add my numbers. Zero plus five is five. Two plus two is four. Bring my decimal straight down and one plus three is four. And there's my answer. So let's go ahead and try another problem. Let's try 0 0.75 plus 12.3. Again, I need to have these lined up. So I'm going to rewrite them so that the decimals are lined up. And again, I have these weird places where there's no numbers. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some zeros in there, and it's okay. And then I go ahead and add. 5 plus 0 is 5. 7 plus 3 is 10. Carry the 1. Bring my decimal straight down. 1 plus 2 is 3. And 0 plus 1 is 1. And there's my answer. And it works exactly the same way if I want to subtract decimals. So. Let's try doing some subtraction. Okay, 3.6 minus 1.8. Again, this isn't a very nice way to do my problem. I'm going to need to go ahead and line up. So I'm going to rewrite my problem. My decimals are lined up one on top of another one. And then I go ahead and subtract. So 6 minus 8. I'm going to go ahead and borrow here. So I have 16 minus 8 is 8. My decimal straight down. And 2 minus 1 is 1. So there's my answer. So that wasn't too bad. Let's try one more. Subtracting decimals. Let's do 2.4 minus 1.6. Again, I'm going to stack them on top of each other. So my decimals line up one on top of another. And then I can just go ahead and subtract. I need to borrow. 14 minus 6 is 8. Bring my decimal straight down. And 1 minus 1 is 0. And there's my answer. So when you're adding or subtracting with decimals, go ahead and rewrite them so that the decimals all line up. And then just go ahead and add or subtract, bringing your decimal straight down. And that's all you have to do when you're adding or subtracting.